if you'd said to me 15 or 20 years ago, you're going to get your most success in your entire career from a video game. Yeah, right. Nate, come on. And I had no idea, none of us had any idea what we were beginning. Hey, take the wheel. What? Get out of your goddamn mind. Yep, probably. When we started making Uncharted 1, there was a lot of younger people at the studio. Most of us, when we started in this industry, we started in our early 20s. And when we started, every, every hero, every character was in their early 20s. And you, as we get older, as developers, we make experiences that relate to us and characters that relate to us. Games and, and in the art tends to reflect the mentalities and the things that the people who make the art think about. Uh, and in this case, we've definitely had a long time to grow up while we're making Uncharted. And it seemed only fitting for Drake to continue to grow in that sense. It adds another element to the, to the story that we can play with. Our characters haven't been fixed or frozen in time. I mean, he looks like a kid in one because of the smoothness of the textures, because of the smoothness of the modeling. And back then, that was really good, right? And as we got better, and as the platforms got better, you can see him not only get more complex and more sophisticated, but he also is aging. We're showing more of the things that we could not show before. The subtlety of wrinkles, the subtlety of skin pores. But there's a lot of things that we need to keep in mind. For example, we cannot really just age them as normal people do. He's a hero character. You're going to see the physical effects of what's happening to Drake. He is an everyman. He doesn't just escape with a laugh. Like, these things are taking its toll. But I think that that humanizes a fictional character even more. You, you see him maturing not only in age, but in wisdom. Now, Sully has had this thing right from the beginning, right from the first game. And this was something that I added at some point. Says, I'm too old for this shit. No, 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 no. If you're gearing up for one of your I'm too old for this speeches, spare me. I think now that Nathan is beginning to have that thought himself. Come on. We got a treasure to find. Hold up, man. I mean, what are we doing? And this is the one where, like, it gets to the root of who is he? What's important to him? And that is really why we wanted to tell this story, is we wanted to get to the heart of what drives Nathan Drake. We played with some of the themes of growing up responsibility in the previous Uncharted's, but I think when it came down to it, it was all about what did Nathan Drake want uh, in his life. He was willing to risk everything for, for treasure. But as you get older, you want your life to be worth something more. You want to have an impact. It's kind of an interesting perspective to see our hero grow up a bit and having to deal with themes like family and future and not just be caught up in the moment of, of finding just a treasure. He's actually thinking long term and what this might mean for his future. One of the things I've loved about this from the beginning is the evolution of this family unit that has developed. From an acting standpoint, it's always fun to get to play someone that you enjoy for this long. Because in this industry, you play a part and they fade very quickly and you have to move on to the next one. So I have quite a fondness and an attachment to Miss Elena Fisher. She starts off super passionate, very gung-ho, I'm all for adventure. And then you see as she gets closer to Nate and as she gets closer to Sullivan, as she gets closer to these dangerous events, we see her not step back, but just become more aware and more cautious, I think, of what an adventure means and what it might cost. And I think as we grow older, we actually kind of get a chance to look back at our lives and see what's important to us and uh, how the decisions that we've made have kind of impacted where we're at and maybe where we're going. That's a very similar journey to Nathan Drake, right? If you look at him in Uncharted 1, here is a guy that makes huge sacrifices as far as his personal life to achieve greatness. And I think, uh, in a way, we're seeing that happen with both Naughty Dog and the Uncharted franchise in general. And as a game developer, you know, it's this is hard work. Like, people think it's like you're here playing games all the time, and sure, that happens every once in a while, but for the most time, this is very hard, grueling work. A lot of times it's long hours, and you make personal sacrifices. We're taking that experience and putting it into the art that we're making, so that when you play Uncharted 4, you're going, oh, OK, you know, this has more character depth to it. This has more visual depth to it. We're trying to bring everything as creative people that we're experiencing and funnel that into the medium in which we're working. Wisdom comes from experience and, and time. And Nathan Drake certainly has had enough experiences that 
uh, lends itself to a lot of wisdom if he's paying attention. It's been one of the most rewarding characters I've ever been handed because uh, I, from the get-go I was uh, encouraged to you know, put as much of myself into this character as possible. And uh, it has just been the greatest ride of my life these last 10 years. You're with this character for years, and you're with, in this world for years, and you do like, you go home on the weekends and you're eating dinner with your family and you're thinking about those characters in that world, and it's such a part of you that to walk away is very hard, as I'm sure it will be at the end of this game. For me as a, as a designer, for, for Naughty Dog as a studio, I think that feeling kind of permeates through every, everything we're doing as a developer and maybe to a fault that's like, this is the last one you're gonna do. This is the last one you're gonna get to make. So anything that you wanted to have, it has to go in, it has to be there. And as a group, you know, like we just got closer and tighter together with each game that we've made. And so over time, we've just gotten like, we've just learned from our mistakes over and over again. And so I think that that kind of sophistication uh, is, is a big part of growing more mature. And I think players are gonna see that in Uncharted 4. So all we can really do as a team is make something that's really personal to us. Um, use everything that we've learned in the past to kind of elevate the medium one step further, to challenge ourselves to go into areas that we're uncomfortable with, and we do that with every game. And hopefully we come out on the other side with something great. PlayStation.